All right, what is up YouTube? Today, I will be doing my January 2017 ban list predictions. Uh, I will be using a little bit of research that I have done over the, I guess, past day and whatnot. Uh, just looking at the past, uh, what happened in the past YCSs and stuff like that. And just base my opinion or my predictions off of that. And as you can see on the screen right now, you will see the chart. Uh, these are the YCS results from September to December 2016, uh, and there's only five YCSs between then. YCS on Mexico, YCS Minneapolis, YCS Bochum, Liverpool, and Anaheim. And as you can see, ABCs do, uh, I guess, take the most, not I guess, but yeah, they do take the most spots at 29, which is crazy considering there was only available for three of the YCSs. So that's just crazy. Followed by Metal Folds at 28, Blue Eyes with 21 other um, and I say other because those are just a mix of the like one. Um, it was uh, when I was looking up the top 32, uh, two of them said just other. So I, I don't, I don't know. And then like there's like zombie and stuff like that. Like YCS Mexico has had a whole bunch of just random decks in the top 32. Um, Dark Lords are in there too. It's a whole bunch of decks. But yeah, those are just other. Those are just like you know not. They didn't have enough to be on the scale. So. Yeah, other with 19, BAPK on all the variants of Burning the Abyss or just Phantom Rides, all that is just lumped together. With 15, Paleozoic, surprisingly, only available, I think, for two, and they had 11. Uh, Mermails with 10, Heroes with 9, and as you can see, Lights, Horns, Cosmos, and Magic Spectres all with 6. So yeah, this is the chart I will be using to base all my predictions off of, and uh, yeah, you guys will see that in the video. So... Yeah, that that's just a little thing, you know. Put that in your mind and stuff like that. There is there wasn't. I believe ABC's had eighteen percent, but I, I don't know if you guys even care about that. So yeah, um, before we get into the the main topic of the video, I would like to say if you guys do enjoy this video, definitely leave a like. Also, leave a comment. Let me know what you think is going to happen and all that no jazz and stuff. Also, subscribe if you have not. I upload Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Uh, at 1 p.m. so you guys get three videos a week and also if you guys can click the ad to help support the channel uh, yeah so uh, uh, happy new years and let's just get straight into the video all right so we're going to start off the list talking about our forbidden list and there's only three cards I think should and will be forbidden which is Elder Entity Norton, Magic Spectre Karen, and Vanity's Emptiness now these three cards have been wrecking pretty much havoc on the format this whole time Norton um, it's just an instant rank. Is this an instant rank four? Uh, it's an instant two monsters on your board. Uh, Norden has overstayed its welcome. Uh, it's been out for probably I think a year or something like that. I, I'm not too sure, but I know it's been out for it's been out for over a year. Um, it started out at three. It's at one, and it's still doing everything it can do and more. And especially with Zodiacs coming out, this card just needs to not be in existence with that deck out. Well, until that deck gets toned down, because Norden can uh, Norden can get back one of the Zodiac monsters, and then you can just succeed into um, they, you can succeed into a Bullhorn, and Bullhorn searches uh, Beast Warrior. So that means that for the price of one thousand points, you can possibly get two rank fours on the board, or like I'm pretty sure there's a Beast Warrior tuner. Uh, yeah, it should be with um, with uh, Firefist. Yeah, Firefist have a level four tuner, so that means you could you could go Norden, get a what's the name, get a Zodiac back. Detach, search uh, lo the level 4 tuner, normal summon, then get, what's the name, then go into a level 8 synchro, so, and then you can go into Drancis. That means you, you have two, for the price of 1,000 points, you just pretty much went plus two, because you got two rank fours, you got two rank fours for, I mean, I mean, nah, it wouldn't be a, technically a plus two, but hey, shit, it's, it's a 1,000 points or instant fusion that turns into two extra deck monsters, that's a plus two to me. That's just too good. Coupled with the fact that tree toads are just getting splashed and everything, all you need now is the water. Dino Mist, I mean, can use this to go into a tree toad. You, you even see, there are some even light sworn decks that's using this to go into tree toad, which is just stupid. So, as long as, unless Bahamut Shark gets banned, Norden should not stay. And even if, even if Bahamut Shark gets banned, which I don't think is going to happen, this card should not be at, uh, it should not be legal anymore. This card is overstayed this walking like I, I think I said that earlier. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just too good of a card only for a thousand points. It's just, it's just thousand life points. It's just too, it's too good. So this card just needs to go before it further wrecks the format. And the second card I want to talk about is possibly the best card in the game is Magic Spectre Karen. Um, this card right here is, 
is the best pendulum monster by far like there's no even debate this is the best pendulum monster best card in the game uh, i know it's top five this card right here is a 2000 beat stick you, you can pretty much card take you just pendulum summon and it can't be targeted nor destroyed so you can is the only way to get over it is by battle and you can't get over it by battle because it's just going to bounce and as long as you have a pendulum monster which itself is a pendulum monster you can just you can bounce it back and you can keep doing everything you you want to do like joker can just be bounced back to use another joker you can get luster back to your hand you can get anything you want back to your hand that's something in your extra deck for free uh and it's just dumb karen is just a bad card bad card design it's just never should have been printed this card is always stays as welcome and especially with ocg limited it i hope the tcg follows suit and go ahead and just hit this card because this it does not need to just it, this card is just stupid i personally hate the card but i mean this card is just dumb it's in every pendulum deck there's not a single pendulum deck that i see or that's topping that does not play this card and if you don't you just you're just hurting your own deck you just you just you just being a disservice to your own deck and that's just dumb to like to not put your deck at full power uh, without running Kirin. So that card just needs to get hit. and needs to be gone. And we can just have some good Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, and the last card I want to talk about. I don't really want to talk about this too much. Because I mean this card has been out for a minute. Vanity's Emptiness. This card just needs to go. Uh, it's pretty much a, a win condition now. You can literally uh, set up. what Let's say when, when, when Witches are coming out. You can set up a Crystal Wing Vanity's Emptiness for nothing. Uh, Dimensional Barrier did just get released, so that's like a pseudo replacement. Like uh, when this card came out, Oppression that got banned, or soon after, or right before, or something like that. So I think that you're just gonna follow suit with just banning the Vanity's Infinite because it's just it, there's no reason it should still it's just it should not be at one because the card is is literally overpowered and it's it just needs to go, man. It's just it's just not it's not good for the game. Uh, yeah, man, that's not too. I don't really know what else really to say about Vanity Emptiness besides this shit is just it's just a fucking broken card. So with Dimensional Barrier getting released, I do believe this card should be banned and will be banned. So uh, let's get on to the limited. So for the limited list, I have Cyframe Lord Omega, Solemn Strike, uh, El Shadar Construct, Bahamut Shark, uh, Archvenus Centric, Painful Decision, Summoners Are, Bubble Man, Mass Change, Heroes Live, Terraforming. Uni Hanger, Terra Top, and finally Instant Fusion. And I know what you're thinking off the top, what type of shit is this, but let me explain. So, to start off with Cypher and Lower Omega, this card did see a lot of play during the, during the early parts of the format, but then it died down because then a lot of decks didn't really use Omega. It was only like Light Torns and Heroes that did use Omega. Um, and then there was like random decks that used Omega like Metal Foes, but they really didn't like, you know, they didn't max out. It was that one. This card probably should be put to one because of how powerful it is. I hope it doesn't go to one, but I'm not going to sit here and make a, a bias pretty much ban list because I, I do think this card is probably going to go to one. But uh, over the light, like when I looked at, through, when I did all the re, uh, research for all this stuff, when I looked at it, it was like, mm, maybe not because this card did not really see too much play towards the end of the format. So um, hopefully it does not get limited, but I, I'm not. I'm not. I'm just going to put it on here just to be sure because it, it just seems like it will, um, especially because of what happened to OCG. This it might happen out here. Second card, Slot and Strike. Uh, There's not really too much to really explain about this card. This card is very. It's a very good card, and it's it's literally played in every deck. Um, if I did way, way way more research and find out like how many decks played Slot and Strike, I'm pretty sure out of the 160. Uh, qual I mean, uh, spots you could uh, play it in. I would say only Light Swarms did not play it, which was six. Every other deck, I would say, play it. So that's, that's probably possibly 154 decks with Solemn Strike in it. Um, like I said, I'm not too sure though. I'm, I didn't do all the research. Like, there's like Paleozoics didn't have to play it, Mermails didn't have to play it. Um, so yeah, if we add all those together, which was what Mer like, Mermails don't have to play it. I don't know if I said that. Uh, Paleozoic, so that's what 21 plus 6, that's 27 out of 160. So that's what still, that's still what 133. There's still 133 decks that are playing strikes. So this card is definitely going to get hit. Uh, there's no debate about it. I, I don't know if it's going to go to one. I, I believe it's going to go to one because it did just get reprinted and it is a powerful card, but it can go to two. But my my opinion is it, it's probably going to go to one. Um, next card is Bahamut Shark. 
Uh, this card is getting played in decks that probably should not be playing them, such as Heroes, Light Swords. I've seen a deck like that just ran two, like this ran uh, Gigabytes and shit, and it was just going into this. This card right here, uh, Dino Mist can go, could use it. There's a lot of deck. There's a lot of decks that actually could use just two level four waters. So Bahamut Shark, I do believe is going to get hit to one. Ptolemyus got banned because of what it was doing with Infinity. This card is pretty much bringing out another Infinity in Tree Toad. So I just think this card is going to get hit just to slow down multiple, you know, just to slow down some of the decks such as Heroes, Mermos, Senior Resurgent. Um, Heroes are the, basically the best benefit of this because you know they they went from not even being uh being represented and then like after when this card came out they they, they topped every ycs since i believe let me see let me check my notes um yeah it's been, it's been in since uh i mean they did top one did top ycs mesco but that was dark synchro but um i believe yeah bokum and anaheim i believe was the only two that were available for uh before uh the for the um tree toad and stuff like that i believe those are only two and those two heroes topped both of those so i do believe that this card is going to just go ahead and get put down to one because they do probably want to stop a lot of those uh random decks that just spamming tree toad um the next card i would talk about is el Shaddai construct um this card does not need to be banned anymore it's i don't even know how many formats it's been it's this card does not need to be banned anymore uh i just yeah, just take it off the list just to see what it does and whatnot. Um, like I said, there's not really too much to discuss about this. Pro Security actually brought that to my attention of Construct still being banned. I totally forgot. So um, probably most likely Konami is going to do this. Uh, the next uh, cards I want to talk about is the Centric uh, Painful Decision and Summoner's Art. The, the reason I want to talk about these three cards now, I don't think all three are going to get limited, but I do think one of them should get limited just to slow down or possibly two just to slow down uh metal foes because though they had 28 out of the 160 and they topped every single ycs in this period between uh september and december they have topped every single one uh so they have to get hit something has to get hit now i don't think they're going to ban fusion because that's stupid um i just think that some of the consistency cards are going to get hit such as summoner uh, summoners are a painful decision um i think those two, two cards are the most most logical hits i guess just to slow down the deck take away that consistency that they do got so they have to cut out the core for engine because it just would not be it won't be useful to run without summoners art and stuff like that um so yeah i think uh those two are most likely going to hit eccentric uh it could get hit because it does further the players they are all playing them at three now I mean, they're playing Eccentric at three now, so, you know, Konami does like to hit cards. When you play them at three, they, they like to hit those cards, so you can slow down the consistency of the deck, and it slows down, I guess, the use of the card. I don't understand. Now, I'm saying it out loud, it just doesn't make any sense. Why would you do that? So that that's pretty dumb. Um, and then we're going on to uh, the next three, which is Bubble Man, Mass Chains, and Hero Lives. Like I said, with the same thing with Metal Foes, I don't think all three are going to get hit, but... Uh, I definitely think one of these will get hit. Uh, my money would probably go on the Heroes Live because that only, but Heroes Live, hitting Heroes Lives, only thing it does is limit the consistency of the deck. Doesn't outright just ban, I mean, hurt the deck and destroy the deck. So you don't want to do that. You don't want to get rid of decks. You just want to slow down the consistency. And hitting the Heroes Live most likely uh, slows down the, I mean, not most likely, but it will slow down the deck, I guess, by a fraction. And stuff like that. And then with Norden Band or Bahamut Shark at one, you don't really get to spam tree toads just for free because Hero Lives you can you can do a lot. Uh Mass Change can get hit. Uh I, I hope they don't hit it because that's that's just bad. But Dark Law is a problem. Dark Law is a very powerful card. And like couple that with tree toad and stuff like that, it's it's just it's ridiculous. So Mass Chains may get hit also. And Bubble Man's been hit before, so I guess that can go right back on the list. But like I said, I don't think all three are going to get hit or uh, I just do think one of these or possibly two if they really want to kill heroes. They could possibly hit two of these and my bet would be the Heroes Lives and probably Bubble Man. Like I said, just to hurt the consistency. You don't want to have this, you know, deck just running rampant <clears throat> and stuff like that. Uh, and the next two cards I want to talk about is Terraforming and Union Hanger. I think these go pretty much side by side. Terraforming is just getting better and better because of the new field cards that are coming out. So I think that just gets hit. That I think this card just gets hit because ah shit. I think this card gets hit because of the new uh field cards, field cards that are coming out. Jesus, I cannot get through this part. 
the new field cards that are coming out. So uh, just like with Rota, uh, eventually people are going to just start playing three, and it's just it, it becomes too, it becomes too good of a card. So you just have to nip that in the bud and have you try to hard draw it. And Union Hanger is I don't even know what to say about this card. This is literally the only card you can hit in ABCs. Hitting Dragon Buster is just too that's just unfair. That's unfair to the deck because they literally only play four foot four cards is the a b c and the muni hanger so like i said konami likes to hit consistency of the deck so uni hanger is the best hit with terraforming going to one terraforming could possibly get banned and i would not wouldn't be too upset with that but then again there's a lot of decks that just need terraforming to get to their field cards there's not really a deck that can search out their own field cards unless they make one uh like i said unless that is like a tcd exclusive or something for abc's Terraforming and Union Hanger should go to one because ABCs did get the most tops out of the last five YCSs and it's only been out for three, uh, only been available for three of them. Uh, the next two cards I want to talk about are Terra Top and Instant Fusion. Instant Fusion uh, is only going to get better with time. Uh, Eidolons, they have what they, I don't know how many fusions they have, but I believe you can spell someone like you can spell someone that book of moons, you can spell someone that you can't activate effects. It's a fusion is just it's getting too good, so you're gonna have to nip that one in the bud. Terra Top uh, with Zodiacs is just ridiculous. Um, Invoker is not gonna get hit, so I mean, you just hit Terra Top and stuff like that, and then you pretty much can solve that problem. So yeah, that is it for the limited, and now on to the semi limited. All right, so for the semi limited, I have a couple of cards that I think uh, probably will get semi, and it would help the format if they do get semi. And then one card is just maybe pre active. Um, which is Torrential, Book of Moon, and Reckless Greed. Torrential and Book of Moon are pretty much hand in hand. They're pretty much good defensive cards, great defensive cards to actually be to be exact. Torrential can really check the format, make people slow down from special summoning sixteen monsters on you on your like just get OTK'd on your second turn is not cool. Like if Torrential's at two, that means my opponent or a good opponent um, would be very wary of a Torrential because the Torrential at a clutch time can pretty much swing the duel back in your favor and it, it'll punish your opponent for just you overextending for no reason on a second turn. I know you may have an OTK in hand, but here, how does Torrential and, you know, maybe next time you won't keep to continue to do that. Same thing with Book of Moon. Book of Moon can save a lot of people from the duel and it also is a good offensive card because if you can use an effect and they try to affect Baylor or they try to Phoenix Chain or something, you can just Book of Moon and then bam, you can still resolve your effect. And Book of Moon just needs to go to two we need to see what it can do i really missed that card uh that's sort of biased but i think book of moon should go to two there's no reason it's still at one and for the last thing reckless greed uh reckless greed is because of paleozoics now if that deck ever gets going uh as it does already reckless greed uh is most likely going to go down to two because that just it, it slow once again it slows the consistency of the deck it doesn't give paleozoics too much to work with and stuff like that so, uh, Regulus Greed could be a pre preemptive hit on Paleozoics. Like I said, they did have 11 tops in two YCSs, so that's that's pretty good. That's 11 out of 44. That's I mean, let out, yeah, 11 out of 44, that's that's pretty good to just be a, re a, a new deck in the format. So, yeah, that is just for my semi-limited. Um, like I said, Strike can also be semi-limited and stuff like that. But, <clears throat> yeah, uh, and now we're going to just go into the uh, Unlimited. All right, so for the final part of the video, um, if you guys did stay this long, thank you very much. But yeah, this is the last part of the video. So as you can see, it's titled Wishlist because these are cards that are some that just barely missed the list. And then um, these are just pretty much, I guess, wishing because I don't think nothing's going to happen. Um, we're going to start off with Birdman. Uh, Birdman has no business being on the list. Like I said, I, I wish it goes to three because it just it's not doing anything at one so what what the fuck would it go it's not going to do anything at three like nobody's playing this card because it's just it's not i guess relevant anymore so just put it back to three there's a lot of cards matter of fact most of the i can say that about most of the band list a lot of cards just never moved like there's cards like the breeze dragon that's still at two dandelion i believe is at one like there's just cards that are just for no reason still limited or semi-limited or banned and just you know, we need to start putting some of these cards back in the uh, rotation just, just to see what's going to happen. I mean, if it's broken, you like you said, you guys don't have a, uh, what's the name? Well, not you guys, but Konami does not have a set, you know, time to release a ban list. So if a card gets too powerful, hit it. It's not, you know, it's not like a, it's a problem. It's not like you can't do it. I mean, it's like this, this, 
Uh, that, I don't even know. Anyway, so let's just continue. Um, OT Canahawk, they are getting support, so I could see this card all coming back. Um, I don't really, I, I don't really like this card at all. I hate it. I hated the deck, but um, now it, there's more stuff to stop. We have Twin Twisters, we have Dark Holes and stuff like. I mean, not Dark Holes, but we have Twin Twisters. We have a lot of stuff that can stop it. Um, I guess it's, I guess easier to play against. But like I said, I don't like the damn card, but they are getting support, so you might as well boost them. Uh, barrier from different dimension should not go to three, but I wish it would. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Also, dark hole can go to three if it uh, if they want to, but like I said, they don't really touch cards on the list too much. So, excuse me, that probably not gonna happen. Swap frog can be a preemptive strike to pay Zoas, even though I don't. I think pay Zoas is not a good deck. Um, Swap frog is a great card, so this card might get hit. This is it. Just just left my uh, limited list. Um, I was going to put it in there, but I was like, uh, maybe not. So that card may not get hit. Also with Return of the Dragon Lords, it's another thing I, I did initially have on my list. But Blue Eyes have been doing anything, so I wouldn't see this card really getting hit. But they do have 21 tops, so it's not like they haven't been winning. I mean, not been topping. They have been topping, and this card is pretty much the only thing I would say hit. You can't hit alternative because that's just stupid. Um, you can't hit it on the white stones because that's when again stupid. This is the only card that is just literally like pretty like really good in the deck and it's return. So either hit that ban soul charge. That's another card that can't get hit in soul charge. But yeah, like I said, hit pro they're probably gonna hit this to one maybe um, because blue eyes did have twenty one tops. And for the last card, it's dragons be Um This card does not need to be at two. There's, I don't know what Konami is doing. They just forget about a whole bunch of shit. And, um, yeah, so <laughs> the Ravine just needs to go to three just to get Dragonese back what they want. Uh, they can help out some Dragon decks, I guess, because they, they're pretty much non-existent now. So, yeah, that is it for the uh, video. Hope you guys did enjoy my list a lot. Uh, definitely leave a like if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And also subscribe if you have not. Uh, well, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 1 p.m. on the dot. So you guys get three videos a week. And also, if you guys can, click an ad to help support the channel, which would be very helpful. Now, another thing I want to say right before the the video ends, I would like to say, um, <clears throat> I don't understand why Konami doesn't like use the ban list to their um, to their uh, benefit. What they can do is they can create a ban list and then like release a special pack like at regionals or something where it's like you get all the ban cards or something like, or just like make a special edition with all the ban cards so you know everybody can get these new cards. Or if you want to add a card, just release them in a pack. So everybody can get it or something like that. Like, that's just extra money for y'all. And it helps the player base because now everybody has access to these banned cards or errata cards. And it ain't got to be, you know, all this extra bullshit. So, yeah, that is it for today. I will see you guys Wednesday. 